Well, good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on June seventeenth, two thousand and nineteen. Welcome to another surviving day in this planet. Welcome to a long-awaited video for Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're going to start out here at the sun, looking at very quiet sun. A little bit of activity on the top left side there. Showing definitely some plasma activity, but still no sunspots to talk about on our very quiet sun. And I apologize that I haven't uploaded in three days. I really need to take a few days off here and recollect. I've got a lot, of a lot going on right now. And we have a lot of earthquakes going on right now too. Large 5.9 in China today in Shangning, China. Now that there are reports coming out already of victims and survivors being pulled from rubble as buildings did collapse in this large 5.8. There's been many more earthquakes after that. I'm gonna to get to that in just a moment. But over the last 48 hours, we've had a lot of activity as well in the Fiji and New Zealand region. We had a very deep earthquake, 630 kilometer depth yesterday. And that is just bouncing all over the place right now. We had that large 5.8 in China. Now this was a few hours ago when I was looking at the last 24 hours. So this is not up to date. We're gonna to get to that in just a moment. Um, this was just after the 5.8 earthquake recorded about 10 hours ago. And here are all the earthquakes in New Zealand and Fiji the last little while there's been quite a swarm and now that swarm has moved to China across North America we did have some minor rumbles as well as Royal City Washington 3.2 US Canadian border as well as 4.9 in Mexico and a few 4.0 in 4.8s in Chile. This is our last seven days for earthquakes. So things have really ramped up recently as we have Earth going into retrograde with Jupiter and our Sun this month. So watch for this activity to continue right up until the end of the month, especially on July 27th throughout these regions, I'm sure just wanted to show you this is now updated last 24 hours there were quite a few aftershocks in China here you can see 4.7s ranging to 5.2s so thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by this large earthquake and earthquake swarm aftershocks going on in China I pray that they find as many survivors as possible Again, I want to thank you for watching today. Lots of earthquakes going on. 5.5 here in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. 4.9 Bouvet Island. So Ascension Island's going off. As well as south of New Zealand in Bristol Island. So the earthquakes are kind of everywhere right now. As well as the extreme weather. We're going to start out here at the Pacific Disaster Center. Showing two, or sorry, three active tornado warnings. And one is in Colorado, one is in Wyoming. The tornado warning in Colorado is Pueblo. And that is just most recent, so stay aware and prepared. As I have family in Colorado. So please share this video with your friends and family so they can stay aware as well. These extreme weather events are happening more frequently now. We're getting 100 times more daily evaporation, especially over Colorado. They've had, they had a very wintry, snowy season. So now all that snow is just evaporating in the daily evaporation. And these storms are rolling off the Rocky Mountains. So you can see there, tornado warning, Ohio as well. Wilmington, Ohio. Pueblo, Colorado. And as well, Wyoming, 
Cheyenne, Wyoming. That was just 30 minutes ago. So bunker down in those areas. There is tornado alert active. Pacific Disaster Center showing here. The floods and tornadoes across the United States. As well, that major 5.8 earthquake in Shangning, China. Small forest fires as well in Alberta. Nothing out of control just yet, but still very dry. Watching in the five day forecast coming up right here, we're gonna see a change in that quickly. So across North America, daily evaporation, and we will have those pop up thunderstorms and supercells throughout Tornado Alley. You can see there a lot of warm moisture coming up from the Gulf. And then we also have a large low pressure system coming from the north. So that's going to bring a lot of rain and in instability throughout Alberta. So watch for scattered thunderstorms tomorrow and the day after. And then once this low settles in, it could be some intense rain, heavy downpours with this large low. So stay aware of prepared Alberta. We do have some rain coming to a very dry climate. Across the United States, watching this low pressure system just kind of ride the coastline. As well, a pretty large and organized low pressure center heading into Europe later in the week as well. Showing here forecast models. will bring a lot of rain because you know these low pressure systems are getting bigger and they're getting stronger in velocity and in intensity i'm watching it happen all around the world and across china they're still seeing extreme flooding events as they've had heavy downpours and atmospheric compression event happening right over them right now daily evaporation but it just seems to be constant and more now so you know I this is why I started my channel I started seeing these drastic changes around the world and I wanted to keep people aware and prepared I was spending all my time on the internet just researching this stuff and I'm so happy that I can share it with you I feel blessed that I'm able to do that so again thank you friends and family for hanging in there your loyalty and your support is truly appreciated. A lot of great things coming here. I've just recently been approved for something huge. So stay tuned for some new videos coming up here. And I'll get into that. So stay tuned. Stay aware and prepared. Thank you for watching today. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.